Hey, it's Felix here, and it's week 31, I think, and the topic this week is uh, positives and negatives of transition being trans. Um, I guess I'll start with things that I think are bad, or things that I don't like so much, because um, I think there's a lot less of those than there are positives for me. Anyway, um, I guess the biggest negative is... Um, all the kind of medical interventions um, that I feel I need to make me comfy and the cost of those um, and the time involved in those. I think that um, this video would be really different if I didn't have the healthcare access that I do have. Um, fortunately, my parents um, support me and have supported me um, financially to go um, to have private uh, medical treatment uh, which meant that I um, started testosterone privately um, even though now I get it on the NHS I started it privately and I also um, had surgery privately um, I mean, yeah, so even though those things were quite fast for me when I decided that I wanted them, um, I spent quite a long time deciding that I wanted them. Once I did decide, it happened fairly quickly. Um, I think that a big negative for me is the way the NHS treats um, trans people. I really dislike the narrative of um, being born in the wrong body. Um, and I dislike the fact that um, trans people are classified as having a disorder. Um, in the DSM, it's classified as a disorder, um, which is the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders. I think that's what it's called. But basically, the big kind of American book on mental health it classifies it as a disorder. Um, and Personally, I don't identify with that narrative at all. I don't think that I have a disorder. I don't think that I have a mental health condition. I don't think that I was born in the wrong body. Um, I was born in my body, and I've just made some adjustments to it. That's that's how I feel about it anyway. And um, <clears throat> in all the interactions that I've had with um, NHS medical professionals, they very much treat it like um, I am... Mental, not mentally disordered, but, but I have a disorder that is, um, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it really, like questions that they ask you, um, I find to be quite inappropriate and unhelpful, um, because I don't see myself as, I used to be a woman, and now I'm a man, um, I see myself as a masculine end of spectrum person, and I've made some adjustments to my body in order to make me feel comfortable, but I don't see it as I've gone from this thing to this thing over here. Um, and often something I really struggle with, particularly within the NHS, is that there's just no room for that. So anything outside of that narrative, um, even though I've told the NHS professionals that I interact with that that is the case, um, it's still very much, a, there's a lot of hoop jumping that goes on. And I guess for me, that's the biggest negative um, that I have to deal with. Um, but I totally recognise the my privilege in the sense of I'm able to have testosterone and I'm able to have I was able to have top surgery privately and I know that that makes me really lucky and I guess that's a big positive is that my parents my parents are supportive. Um, I think for me like I don't I try not to see it in terms of there's a whole bunch of negative stuff about my transition because I don't it's just who I am and I don't think that. I like to view it in that way. Um, I feel like one of the biggest positives, uh, the biggest positive is the huge like sense of community that I have. Um, I feel like I have an incredible, incredible queer community around me. My friends and my peers and my colleagues are amazing, beautiful people. And um, having that queer community is something that I would never, ever want to give up. Um, it's a huge positive for me. I think it's amazing. And yeah, a lot of that has come from meeting other trans people or other queer people. Um, 
and getting more involved in like community events and community activism to help LGBTQ rights everywhere is, has been a huge positive for me. Um, I definitely, I don't feel like afflicted in any way, really. I don't feel like, oh my goodness, look at my great big trans cross to bear. I don't feel like that. I feel like I'm just a person and I've made some adjustments to myself and my, you know, history is maybe more complicated than other people's histories, but ultimately I'm just a person in the world and I have an amazing community being a queer person and that's a real big, like, positive thing for me. Um, as I said earlier, I think this video would be a lot different if I didn't have access to hormones and surgery. And I know that that's something that I'm really, really grateful for. Um, but I also really try and resist the narrative that being trans is a really sad thing or something that should you should feel ashamed of or something that should be always cast in a negative light. And while I do have times still where I feel uncomfortable or nervous or dysphoric or sad, it is hugely outweighed by the positives. Um, and I don't want to spend the rest of my life feeling sorry for myself or feeling like I'm wrong or there's something about me that is intrinsically other because I think that there's no, rather than kind of get myself into a mindset of, oh, it's really negative because there's far less trans people than there are non-trans people. I want to just try and think of it as there's human beings in the world and everyone has a different history. And this may be idealistic or naive, but that's how I feel like I want to move through the world and how I want to view things. Um, and I completely respect that for loads of trans people it's shit and hard and horrible, and it is hard and horrible some of the time, and there are definitely moments where I feel like I don't know what I'm doing, or um, I don't know how to behave in a certain situation, or there's a space where I used to feel really comfortable where I don't feel comfortable anymore, and that's all to be navigated, but I think that maybe I'm naively optimistic, but I am optimistic, and I try and be an optimistic person, and I don't know. So yeah, biggest biggest positives are the community that I have as a result of being queer and being trans. Um, and that's something that I would encourage everybody to try and find and to try and be part of because it's a source of huge support and um, especially when battling the ridiculous medical system which we find ourselves in, it's really nice to have a group of people to have solidarity with. Um, so yeah, I guess that's all I have to say on this. Um, yeah, <laughs> cool. Okay, have a good week and see you next time. Bye.